Bloodline. Where were you, Anderson, in 1986? Uh, Sweet threesomes. Barely out of my mom's womb. Yeah. I, I, I when, I, when I first met you, I'm like, I saw you when I was like 14 years old in uh, Thelonious Monster, and you freaked out. You got very oh, mad wow. at me. Were you at the Roxy? No, I used to see him at the Palace. Like, you guys play with Jane's Addiction palace. all the time. Yeah. The it was always you, Jane's Addiction, Red Hot Chili Peppers, and yeah. Fishbone. Be- benefits. That was the bands. That's so much heroin. Just like to say those <laughs> bands all in one is like there's so much heroin emitting from like a cloud. <laughs> the best around one you. ever was a benefit show, and it was the basis of Fishbone. Yeah, like, for his some son got son. kidnapped. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So at that show that he was at, mm-hmm. while Jane's Addiction was playing, Flea, who was a punk rocker. Oh yes. Oh God, yes. Go watch Suburbia. He said, "Let's stage dive," and I was like. Not really. (laughs) (laughs) And it was John Cusack was there with us too. And so he got John and John was like, let's go. (laughs) And there's three monitors on the front of the, you know, on the front of the stage for each member. So we decided that we all three would just pick a stage monitor and we would run at it because we were on the side of the stage, run at it and use the stage monitor as a jumping thing into the Like a diving board, yeah. And we did it all three at the same time. The only time I stage dove in my life. So I'm in the air, going pretty far, yeah. 10, 15 feet out. And I, you know, like you can see like all the people trying to scatter or people putting their hands up and where I'm going to land, the man is doing nothing. Oh. And you're like, you only have like three seconds, but it goes on for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in your head, it the seems like an eternity. The guy's not moving. And then I, I started to pull my feet down under and I just landed right on him and you could hear his head pop on the ground. Oh. And he was blind. <gasps> <laughs> how, how did you find out he was blind? Because I, because his friend started beating me up, and like he's was like, he Dude, beating what you with you his cane? Doing? Was he beating no, you with his blind his cane? No, his friend. And then oh I was helping God. the guy up, and people were like, "What the f is wrong with you?" Like, and the guy, his friend, oh the blind God. guy's friend, and then I was like, "I'm so <laughs> sorry." And the, <laughs> how, how weird is that? <laughs> imagine, okay, imagine if you will, all of us out there who have vision. Close your eyes and just like pretend like you're gonna close your eyes and, and you're meditate. Listening to Jane's Addiction yeah. play Mountain Song and just like pl- your your eyes are completely closed. You see that, and all of a sudden something just smashes you, <laughs> like wrecks you. It's you know what that's like. And he, you know, and it turns out, and then I certainly I'm so codependent. I, be, I tried to befriend the yeah, guys yeah. and whatever, and bought them drinks and whatever. Apparently they were standing that far away because he is a punk rock blind fan. Yeah. And he knows that if he stands closer, that He'll might get... happen. But no, they never expected people to fly that far out. That's the best. They didn't know they were taking a running start from backstage and going to use the monitor as a jumping device. That's the best. <laughs> you know, he, you know that story's like been so <laughs> mutated since he, like now that he's grown up, the, the, the blind guy, he's like, yeah, it was, uh, you know, I was 10 years old and Anthony <laughs> Kiedis teabagged me. Yeah, and it's like, sure. just like. <laughs>